Hello YouTube! Welcome to another uh, Legacy League um, video where I'm going to be playing again the uh, Mono Red Moon Prison Stompy, whatever you want to call it, Tomato Tomato. Uh, this is the same list I was running before. I'm actually prepping for um, a Legacy Tournament this coming weekend for, I guess when this re video release it'll still be this coming weekend. Um, and uh, I'm really I really like this deck, this prison deck. I think it's really well positioned in the meta. There's a lot of uh, greedy mana bases in Legacy, and uh, it's good against Delver. Delver's pretty popular, um, but yeah, the, the basic concept is you're playing these soul lands um, to kind of turbo out with these pieces, um, like certain threats, like or certain block pieces first, like Blood Moon, Chalice on one. Trinisphere, and you know, you have to play Magus as your fifth and sixth copies of Moon. Uh, but it's also backed up by a lot of really good threats, like Broadside Bombardiers is pretty much like the best card. Like, I don't know, it, it's definitely uh, the best card that's been printed in uh, the last little bit for this deck. Um, I'm also a big fan of the Caves of Chaos Adventure. I, I, I. Tr tried a couple leagues off camera just to kind of see how I felt with the uh, the licensors. Obviously I never played against Reanimator, so uh, you know, uh, Caves, uh, there was a lot of matchups where I'm like, oh, I really wish this was a Caves of Chaos Adventure uh, to kind of swing the initiative in my favor, so. Um, but yeah, the sideboard's obviously still the same too. Uh, I have the same sideboard guide I listed um, listed in the last video. Um, but as always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in round number one. Here I'm from round one, and I lost the die roll. Um. Huh. So. Turn one mountain. Turn two Rebel Master of Blood Moon. Seems slow. This seems unplayable, so I guess I should have kept the first one. What are these hands? This is literally like insane. I guess I should have kept the first one. I'm going to cry. I don't know. They would draw step stop, nice. Well, Blood Moon's not good against them. It's probably going to be used to pitch to cast that. The issue that I have is if I play the City of Traders, when I play this land, I, I mean, A, I can like sack the City of Traders to play this City of Traders to play a Trinosphere, but I'm like the one locked out of the game, right? So I guess what I need to do is this, play, yes, okay, play transfer. Play transfer with one man out. <laughs> uh. They're going to wasteland me, aren't they? It's 
step through, wizard cycling, Uh, opponent does not care about Transphere, I guess. I'm so screwed. I actually, the, I'm literally helping them out. Why does this deck hate me so much? <laughs> Okie dokie. If I could get like a keepable hand of Magic the Gathering cards, that would be fantastic. I think that would be great, you could even say. Uh, these transfers seem terrible. And, um... Blood Moons also seem really bad. So maybe we're bringing these. Yes, I would love to go first. I have no turn one plays again. Maybe I'm playing the game the deck too aggressively, I guess.
Okay, cycle or revealed. I like how I play this modern mono red moon prison against a deck that plays just a bazillion islands. One top, one bottom. Okie dokie. I think I want to. Yes. I need to draw more lands. Uh, it's not really what I was looking for, but. I don't care if he's blocking or not, I just want that thing out of here. It's also a wizard. Okay. They probably took one of these two cards away, right? No. Oh. Okie dokie. Um. Yeah. I think they just looked at all the cards I had in my hand and they're like, ah. The nuts. Okay. Can't keep this. They kept seven cards. Okay, I at least have a red land. I can chouse on one. Cast this. Broadside Bombardiers is really good. So I'm doing this. This, this, this. Do I keep Fury or Dead Gone? I think I have to put Dead Gone on the bottom because I'm chousing on one. Keep Dead Gone done. Leyline of the Void. Do I have graveyard stuff? Okay. I don't understand this at all. I 
do not understand ley lines. So they put two on top. So it must be cracked cards of Magic the Gathering cards. Um, yep, next turn I get to play Fable. Getting in the red zone. Ow. Okay. Okay, feels weird killing two one ones, but they playing that wizard, the three mana wizard. They blowing up my Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Done. I might actually cast this. Okay. Well, okay. Okay, they got their fourth land. Flipping a fable. I'm going to play this, and I'm going to play it not bolting myself. Next turn I should be able to copy my bombardier, attack, fling it. Okay. Okay, can't block. So I think I have the game. Sorry guys, I went a little quiet. I didn't want to lose to Is it Fairies. I'm sure the person has a lot of fun with the deck, but seems like a cool concept. Like playing with Nor seems pretty nuts on their deck.
Alrighty, well, I won round one, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next round. Here we are for round number two, and I won the dice roll. Uh, Chalice on one. I could also Caves of Chaos Adventure on one, too. I think I'm chalicing on one. So City Traders, Chalice on one, Curl Mox, Pitch. I can probably wait to do the Curl Mox to see if I draw something else. But yeah, I think I keep Chalice on one. I might be able to get caves out. Oh. Okay. So what couldn't beat Chalice on one? Reanimator, Delver. Um, Actually, I just might want to actually, yeah, I think I want to do these for, I'll keep these in. Just maybe do a hedge like that, just in case they are reanimator. I can't keep this mulligan. Uh, can I keep turn one? Blood Moon pitching my only other thing? Sure. We'll put this mountain on the bottom. We'll see what they are and then I can make a decision from there. Okay, Windswept Teeth. Interesting. Okay, Tropical Island, Fetch, Plains. Up the Beanstalk, ah uh, yes, I think I do remember this player. Uh, Ancient Tomb, Blood Moon, they probably have Force. These bean stock, stock decks always just have everything against me. I don't, you know. Uro, okay, interesting. I need to draw something other than a land. I'm going to be uh, <laughs> channeling this Soak and Sun. 
Rainstorm. Another up the beanstalk. Loring revealed. First a basic island. Yep, that's all I need for Uro. Next turn. I'm in danger. Yeah, I didn't bring my uh, dead guns in. Play Island. Escape Uro. I don't think I have any answers to Uro. Nope. All right. All right. Um, hmm. Trinisphere doesn't seem that great against them. And I'll probably shave a caves. Uh, caves seems like it could be good. If I get off to a good start, so... Yeah, basically just need to uh, Blood Moon them on turn one, or... Yeah, I just need a good hand of Magic the Gathering cards in this matchup. Oh, shoot, I should have brought the Graph Digger's Cage, too. Hmm. So Ancient Tomb, Chrome Mox, Bombardiers, Turn 2, Caves. I'll keep. They're at five. Yeah, I've hoped to hope this caves resolves, but something tells me they probably kept at least force blue card. Probably the least scariest turn one threat. By you. Fatal push. Lauren Veiled, okay.
sweet. Obviously, you know, a lot of people are cutting caves, but I think it's really good against, like, getting quick uh, traps and uh, things like that. But obviously, it won me this game. So, uh, awesome. We're 2 0, and, uh, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next round. Alrighty, here we are for round number three, and I won the dice roll. Yes. Um. Again, I have these really awkward hands where it's like this, then turn two Blood Moon. Um, do I need to be a little more relaxed on this deck, or am I supposed to be? Um, hmm. You know, I'll gi I'll give it a try. I should try out some more of the hands like this. Okay, I'll just play Basic Mountain and pass. Swamp Go, or uh, Underground Sea Go. Okay, now I can play around Days. So I'm going to cast this. Okay, I'm going to imprint, I have to imprint this, play Mountain, play a Magus of the Moon. Days? Cycle or revealed for an island, probably. Yep. Okay, so they have basic island at least. But. I would love to draw another land. I think I'm going to play this Rabble Master. Brainstorm. Attack. I guess I should have cast this, but if I draw a land next turn, I can play around days again. They are they are brainstorm locked. Oh, they found basic basic mountain. Nice. I'm guessing they didn't mean to uh, let the transfer resolve or not cast something beforehand. So, so blue, black, Maureen revealed, brainstorm days. It's got to be like blue, black, scam, but I don't remember any scam playing Lorraine revealed. But, um, hmm. Could just be like a control deck. Um, if it is a reanimator, I'm probably going to want to make this switch again, but it seemed like that hurt me a lot last time. Yeah, I'll, I'll make the hedge this time. Turn one chalice. No, turn one transfer. Tr 
turn chalice. I can play turn one chalice around Trinisphere. Ah! It's tough. I could go mountain, go. City of Traders. I could do mountain, chalice on one. Otherwise, I can play chalice on one with against days. They mulliganed, so I could play this, 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 and then Trinisphere, then go ham. So yeah, I think I keep this. Six Island, Lotus Petal. Interesting. Okie dokie. So I know they played days. So I guess what I do is play this. Try to play Chalice on one. It resolves. I'll play Chalice on zero. And I'll pass. <laughs> Play Transphere. It resolves. They play like Meltdown. Doomsday. Doomsday. Okay. So interesting. They have a blue mana floating, but they can't cast any spells. Yeah, I think I definitely played play broadside bombardiers. I can do two seven damage to them by getting rid of my Trinisphere. But that means that they can also cast spells again. So what kind of pile are they going to make? Are they going to make the cycling pile into Thassa? And if that's the case, they need life to do that. So I don't think they can do the Lion's Eye Diamond one because I have Chalice on zero. They also wouldn't be able to cast like Consider or Brainstorm. It's kind of interesting that they floated a mana with Lotus Petal for no reason. But. This must be a pretty difficult pile for them to come up with because I was going to play Chalice on Zero until they played the Lotus Battle, so. I'm hoping that the broadside bombardier can kind of catch them off guard. If I drop Fury, oh, oh no, I borrowed out all my Fury, didn't I? Uh, okay, they made a pile. 
Uh, let me see. Okay, so they're playing Besaju's in their list. Um, let's see. Subtlety, this is kind of a very interesting. So how many cyclers are there in this? Okay, so you see one Street Wraith, one Edge Autumn, two Street Wraiths. Okay. Uh, I see a Dismember. I see one Besaju. Uh, so yeah, two. So all the cyclers are in here. So is there a, a Cavern of Souls? I don't see Cavern of Souls in here. So uh, I also don't see the Lion's Eye Diamond. So they. I don't see Lion's Eye Diamond in here. And I see one, two. Three lotus petals. Okay. So now I got to think about this. So they obviously left a bunch of spells in their deck. They, I don't see Lion's Eye Diamond. I wonder how many Brainstorms. One, two, three, four. And I see one, two, three, four Ponder. I don't see any, cons oh, I do see the one Consider in here. So I'm trying to figure out what their pile would be. I see all the Lotus Petals. See all the cyclers. Are they doing like a one ring, where they plan to play mana, play one ring, draw, draw? That is definitely possible. I don't know if I want to sling this transfer at them, so I guess I have I'm definitely going to be attacking. So eight, five is three. I'm almost thinking about chucking this chalice at them, because then that would bring them to six. Or do I just rely on they have to do a couple past the turns? Because I think they're dead next turn. I can't kill them this turn anyways. And next turn I should be able to attack them. And then to, to five, seven. So hmm. stuff because I don't want to do this because I don't see the lines I diamond in here anywhere so I know that they're planning on doing something with like lines I diamond uh, flashback whatever it is but um, yeah I think I'm going to fling this chalice on one at them and then uh, yeah they're hopefully dead next turn do your worst opponent what do you got four mana the one ring Okay, I did figure that was happening. So then they can draw a card on my end step to three, then two, and then cast that. Okay. Hmm. That's a little sad. At least I figured out they were doing a one ring pile. They could be doing one ring, then one ring, then... That might be a pile that works, because I can't really do much about the one ring, so... I really needed kind of like a blood moon there, so maybe I should have played the fable, dug for a blood moon here, 
and then I don't think they could win through Blood Moon. So maybe if they have one more turn to pass the turn, which I don't think they do, because they're going to draw down to two cards, they can draw another card, they can play the fastest Oracle. Yeah, I think they got this one. Doomsday. Definitely don't want these ley lines and. So yeah, get these Ley Line of the Voids out of my deck. Do not want those. I want this Torpor Orb. And... Um, hmm. Aura doesn't seem that great. Maybe just like if I would have had Fury in my hand before. Um... Dead could also, if they, they, they obviously seem to play around that, like if I would have dead gone them, so. All right. I would like to go first. I got Blood Moons, I got Trinispheres. I think I keep. I wish I could do stuff on turn one. That would be, like, broken, you know? And there is a chance that this transfer is not going to be good. So, okay, Lorien Revealed makes sense. Okay, so they have Hedge Maze. So I think I'm going to cast a Blood Moon. I'm sure I've taken a picture of their deck. Okay. Okay, they forced it. Really only hits their lowest pedals, so maybe I should have waited to do that on one. Basic Swamp. Okay, Dark Ritual, Doomsday. I really need a land. Please, deck, land, land, land. Any land will do.
Otherwise, like Torpor Orb, I would take that. Okay, so how many force? Okay, so they have one. Oh, subtlety. Two. Yikes. How many days? They might have taken days out, but force. One, two, three. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Fortunately, I just didn't keep a good hand, and uh, I die. I'm gonna die. Dark ritual. One ring. Okay, I still have an out. I need a land, please, deck any land. Any land. Any land. Okay, well, I lose, so. Alrighty, well, that's it for this round. Um, I just needed this. Just needed a land. Any land. Oh, there's another one. Another one. Well, that one wouldn't have died. I stand corrected. It wasn't any land, but uh, alrighty. Well, I'll catch you guys in the next round. Alrighty, here we are uh, for the next round, and I have lost the dice roll. I also have a very bad hand. Um, let's see. I can chalice on one and die. What's up with these hands? Okay. This one also has, okay, it has, these are lands as well, but I guess I can Blood Moon, so I'll play this turn one, play this turn two, play Blood Moon, so probably putting back this Fury, um, or I'm putting back the other Magus. I think I'll keep... I'll put back this Magus and oh, shoot. I want to give that a little more thought, but here we are. What are we playing against? They have their own upkeep on stop. Ancient Tomb, Chrome Mox, imprinting. Share Skull, Ravel Master. Okay. Well, I guess I'm playing Share Skull. Glad I kept this Fury. I'm definitely getting rid of this Blood Moon. The Mirror Match, huh? Ancient tomb. Does that change anything? I don't think so. Um, play. No. Fury. Pitch. This blood moon. And uh, kill both your duders. Next turn, I play a fable.
Four mana. Are they playing caves? No. Oh, they're playing goblins. Oh, geez, this is a terrible matchup. We got matron and a battle cry goblin. Yeah, this is um, a very bad matchup for me. I need more furies. On the double. Yeah, next turn I can play City of Traders, Chrome Mox, and print this Shatter Skull or use it. I am definitely blocking. Kind of interesting that they're not playing the Battlecry Goblin. Yes, I will take this trade. Play Matron, grab the um, Name Sticker Goblin. Yep. They have an upkeep stop. I'm not sure why. Okay, whew, okay, thank goodness. Uh, I don't think Chalice does anything, so yes, I would like to use this to get rid of this and this. Um, hmm. Yikes. Yeah, unfortunately, I'd rather not have another attacking goblin, so I gotta hope that they don't have Muxus in their hand, or they name sticker goblin, get battle cry, and then attack, then I drop fury. Like, there's, there's a lot that needs to happen. Chalice does nothing, so I can't wait to get those out of my deck. I mean, it does slow them down with Chrome Mox, but... Four mana. Three mana. Negate name sticker. War Chief. Okay, now they can play Name Sticker. They got the Nuts, six mana. Do they have Muxus? Matron? For another Name Sticker? To then be able to get Battlecry Goblin, give all their team a big buff.
a ringleader just to grind value. Oh yeah, seems good. They grabbed a Muxus ringleader or Muxus and yeah, it was just a Muxus. Taking 12. I'm dead. Uh, get these chalices out of my deck. Um, I want all these dead and gones. I want the pyrokinesis. I want a torpor orb. I don't want these blood moons. Want these fiery confluence and Okay, yeah, Grafticker's Cage. What else do I not want? Maybe Trima uh, Caves. Seems kind of bad against the Go White Strat, but I don't really have any more cards to take out, so. Here we are. Um, yeah, I don't think this is it, right? I think I can keep this one. Um, Fury is so good. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Um, Share skull I need is my red source. Seaman Spirit Guide, probably Seaman Spirit Guide, hoping I draw another mountain, I guess. Done. I can dead the, uh, the Sticker Goblin on the stack, so. Play. No. Okay. A little scary because I kind of want to put pressure on them, but like technically they're threatening to. Can they? They can play land. They can cast Name Sticker Goblin, but I don't think they can actually. Uh, I mean, if they hit six, then they got it. But in real paper magic, they could. You could look at the stickers that they flipped, and tell what was going to happen, but. There's a lot of variance with the one on MTGO, the way it works. Oh, 
Well, now they have a really good chance of getting Muxus, and now I'm going to die. I totally didn't think about Soul Land. For, okay, I mean, that's still really good for them, right? I am going to be able to hopefully... Maybe get a Fury. Red card, please, red card. Red card, okay, good red card. Okay, Flame Mountain. I think I have to pitch cast this. I have to kill these. Hold up the uh, dead. I didn't even see what they revealed. Okay, they got Balcry Goblin. Attack for six. Yep, if you do this with the uh, trigger on the stack, it uh, actually fizzles the... Um, they still were able to stack it with Skirk Prospector, but at least they didn't get a Bajuka mana full of stuff. So they're still going to be able to cast... Okay, Battlecry Goblin. The problem is I'm kind of out of gas right now, and they have two cards in hand that I don't know about. Which could be a pyrokinesis. And they stopped giving me upkeep, so they're probably going to pyrokinesis all my stuff. Okay, they're not. They're in my draw step. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going to be able to 1, 2, and then 4. Oh. Attack with all creatures, and I think they're dead. Oh, no, they're at 1. They are at one life. All right. Any changes? I don't think so. Actually, wait. Trinosphere is terrible in my deck. What is that doing in here? I'm going to bring this in. I mean, their whole deck costs... I mean, I guess they have Skirk Prospectors, but I... Yeah, that's like really the only thing that's going to hit. So I just need more red cards for Fury and pitching to my Chromox. I'm done with that. Yeah. Okay, I've lost the dice roll. Looks like... I have a very dicey hand. I can turn one Fable. Turn one Fable, attack, hold up, dead gone. I definitely think turn one Fable is important. 
Ah, yep, I'll keep. Might not be good enough in this matchup. Same with caves. So we'll see. Hopefully, I draw like a something else <laughs> to do. So I start. Okay, they mold a six. Hey, must be really close. Five, okay. Okay, what do they got? Cavern on Goblin. Play Kirk's Box. Okay. Yep. What I might end up doing, depending on what I draw, is I might be playing Ancient Tomb. And then. Uh, it's tough. Because if they have Muxus, I just lose, right? So. I think I have to wait and see what they do. Yeah. Maybe the the fact that I don't have any red mana up, they think it's safe to go for. Okay, they're gonna wait. Attack me for one. Makes sense. Play something second phase. Okay, matron. What are they grabbing? Muxus, okay. They're grabbing a Muxus, which is not good when they just naturally cast it next turn. So I do actually have to fury their board. So, okay. That's pretty clear. Another fable. Um, so now... What I do is I I can do two things. I could play Ancient Tomb, Spirit Guide, Caves of Chaos Adventure, grab a mountain, Fury their board. Um, if they have land sticker goblin, I'm just in, I could be also in trouble. Um, my other option would just be to play the Ancient Tomb, Fury their board. Hold up dead gone. But I'm not really doing a whole lot with that, right? So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch cast this and I'm gonna kill both of their goblins. I wish I would have drawn another red source, but I did not, and this is gonna be very painful. So if they got it, they got it. If they have name sticker goblin and hit they have land, name sticker goblin, they have a really good chance of getting Muxus this turn. Okay, so they have three mana and play sticker goblin. How many mana do they get? Oh, they got six. Okay. What do they hit? Uh, they got a ringleader. So, 
They're going to attack, I block. I get a forge and trap. So. Oh, and with ringleader, they got battle cry and war chief. They got another muxus? No. They hit the six. So do I lost well now to see if I can find something to kill their creatures? I think I'm... Let's see what I draw. Oh no, it has to be upkeep. Um, seven. They get a seven five. Yeah, I think I need to lost well here try and dig for a fury uh, does bombardiers do it I don't think so yeah bombardiers I don't think does it because I already have one so Um, I could attack, they just take it, but I might get something I can cast, but that doesn't seem likely. I could, yeah, I can't do both things. I guess trap was maybe my, my out here. So I could bounce Muxus back to their hand. They still have War Chief Battlecry Goblin. So they can only play one of those two. They attack me. Um, Muxus is, could be stuck in their hand for a little bit. I'm not too excited about that. Um, Really needed a fury or pyro, another fury or pyrokinesis, so I think what I have to do is I have to bounce this back to the hand ground on a 13. Then they're probably going to play the Battlecry Goblin, attack for four. Okay. Guess I should have came, kept up the uh, the dead gone, the one turn. They have city of traders. Do they have another name sticker goblin? Okay. I need my torpor orb. I think I need like fury torp torpor orb. So. This is tough. I'll take the stash, I guess. Okay. So I can play Rabble Master and Broadside Bombardier. Make a guy attack. But they're just going to have Muxus next turn and just Name Sticker Goblin. 
And there's no goblin on the battlefield I really want to kill right now. So there's that. So attack for two, three, five, eight. Do I just need to make blockers and then hope I'm not dead? I think I, I think I'm pretty much I think I'm pretty close to dead. Yeah, I really need to dig for something. Uh, this is not good. They have guaranteed muxes because if even if they hit three or four on the name sticker goblin, they can tap the two for ancient tomb. They've been hitting six the whole time. Yeah, just six. Just six, all sixes. I think they can just play the Balcry Goblin and then just pump it up. Pump up all their guys to kill me. They can play Muxus. Okay, they're playing War Chief. Then Muxus. Okay. Got a ringleader and a Balcry Goblin. So yeah, I think I'm just dead. Oh, and a broadside bombardiers. Gotcha. Well, yeah, there's definitely some lines I really want to look at in this match where maybe I was playing a little conservatively or maybe not quite conservatively enough on the turns I needed to, but like they hit six on their name sticker goblin, I think, every time in this game. So, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next round. Here we are for the last round, and I lost the die roll. Playing for the 3 2. And I don't think I'm going to get it with this hand. They kept seven. Scary. Um, turn, turn one chalice, turn two blood moon, but I sacrificed my land. Ugh. Um, probably the fury, I guess. Cause land, land, land. See what they're on. Savannah Reclaimer. Gotcha. Ancient Tomb. Chalice on one. A little late. Okay. Glad I kept the extra land, huh? They can't just leave up a land and go get a basic. 
They also, if they're playing Dark Depths, then they can just grab that I Blood Moon and then they remove the Blood Moon and uh, they get big scary creature. I think they're thinking about wastelanding me again. They indeed are. It'd be nice to get oh, they can still activate this with uh with mountains. They have a third wasteland. Oh, nice. Wow. Well, definitely classing a blood moon next turn. Attack for three. You got it. Free off the top would be nice. Crucible Worlds. Neat. Blood Moon. Yep. Fortunately, all their lands tap for uh, a bunch of all the colors of the rainbow. They still have a three four. Yeah, they might be having a merit ladies here soon. Yeah, maybe I should have played the blo the Magus, but I really need to dig for something to take care of this Reclaimer. <sighs> Sadness. Okay, I like that. Uh, yes. I'm going to pitch this. So if they have a you, they're definitely going to be
And I'm definitely not blocking with this creature. Okay, wow, I was very surprised to win that one. Um, I usually it's the second the second lock piece for the Blood Moon that really kind of gets them. So, uh, yes, I want all of these dead gons in here. Every last one. Um, what is not good against them? I like Chalice. Um... Oh, I, all right. I, have my, I literally have it on my sideboard guide. Oh, uh, yeah. Three Turner Spheres are not good. And a couple Furies. Or a Fury. Oh, actually, the Fiery Confluences are also good because they destroy artifacts. So I need to take out three Fury. Um, uh, Blood Moons. Sure, because it takes out all the Karn Strucks. Uh, play this. Play this. This uh, play chalice. I think I keep. It's just gonna be really unclear what I do until I see. So this, 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 this. I'll try to kill him quickly. They mold the six. I do not have a blood moon, so that's not good for me. Really thinking about that six. I mean, I took a while on my seven just because trying to figure out how I was sequencing it. I don't want to get blood mooned or uh, not blood moon, wastelanded again. <laughs> okay, Mox Diamond Portal Urza Saga seems pretty like a pretty good combination. Yeah, this one better on the play, but they're gonna have a bunch of constructs, so probably not good for me. Hmm. I don't 
think they play any two drops. <laughs> if I had to guess off the top of my head. I mean, they have life from the loam. They're going to start attacking me with these. Yeah, I think I need to do this. Grab a mountain and yeah. They're gonna make a couple constructs. Make another construct. The four fours. They grab me another. Uh, they have to have another land in their hand. Maybe map exhibition map. To get thespian stage. I'm not a lands player, but any of the fiery confluence like yesterday. Oh, haywire might. Okay. See what you're doing there. Huh. Yeah, I'm in a lot of trouble, huh? Okay. Yeah, I need the uh, fiery confluence. Uh, I will take a fury um, secret lost well. Ding, ding, ding. Bottom, put on the top. Play this. Cast. One, two, three. Into life. Um, yeah. Oh, no. Okay, I'm going to do the goad because I just want to draw a card next turn. Uh, maybe I should have done uh, Chalice on two. I think it's a little too late now. Um, next turn I do Chalice on two. A little, I'm kind of regretting that I didn't do Chalice on 2. They also have Besages, but... Oh, no. Okay. Definitely going to do the Archives. Draw two cards. Okay. Uh, 
Shots on two. Play. Nah, I'm just going to attack. Definitely not playing a Blood Moon. That I know for sure. Alrighty, well, hey, it actually opened the deck, my deck, uh, <laughs> probably because I had it looking in the other screen, but, uh, yeah, we got the 3-2, um, yeah, I lost two matchups, um, one was to Doomsday, um, I just didn't hit the last land I needed to maybe Blood Moon for the win, possibly, I didn't know if they had a counter spell, and then the other one was the Goblins, excuse me, Goblins player that, you know, they just went over the top. I, you know, I definitely want to review to see how um, that one play, that one turn where I kind of let, you know, let them roll the dice and they just hit six and that's what I deserve. Um, I know in paper, uh, you know, you could tell what they would have available to them, you know, from their sticker deck or whatever. So, um, but yeah, I think a really strong showing. I, I really, you know, I, I agree, there's a lot of reanimator, so having the um, uh, unlicensed, searches in, uh, unlicensed hearse in the main deck is good. It just feels like the um, like this card is just insane. Like, every time I cast it, I either have people scoop to me, or like in that last round, it definitely helped me dig to a fiery, <laughs> fiery uh, confluence that, you know, really kind of stole the match, so, in my favor, so. Um, yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next uh, league or series.